Hi this is Anil from Learning Lad Education and welcome to the What's the Output video series on C programming language. Here we're going to give you a C program and we're going to ask you guys to guess the output of the program and then we're going to explain the output. So all you need to do is pause this movie and take a look at the source code which is here in the editor and then uh, come up with the output of the program. Once you have an answer just uh, click on the play button and we're going to explain the output. All right, now I believe that you guys have an answer for this program. Now what we're going to do is we're going to build and run this. So I'm going to do build and run and uh, we're going to get the error and I'm going to open up the error logs and now it says error x is undeclared. So the answer for this program is going to be the compilation error x is undeclared. So now why the heck we're going to get the variable x is undeclared. So here all of you know that you know before the compilation process this source code will be given to the C preprocessor and then whatever the file we're going to get from the preprocessor you know that will be passed to the compiler for the compilation process and here in this program we are using this if diff preprocessor directive this if diff preprocessor directive is used for conditional compilation which is nothing but if some macro is defined then we can include some code to our program and that included code will be present in the code which will be passed to the compilation and here what we are doing is we are checking if this india macro is defined if it is defined then we want to include this code to our program you know we are declaring and initializing this variable x with a value of 100 only if this macro india is defined in our program we haven't defined our macro india and that's why you know this if the condition is gonna fail and that's why whatever the code which we have inside this if diff will not be included to the file which will be passed to the compilation process and that's why the output from the preprocessor is gonna look something like this here you know since this india macro is not defined int x equal to 100 will not be included and at the compilation process what happens is you know when we access this variable x in the printf function at that time you know this variable x is not declared and all of you know that before using a variable we should declare it so we haven't declared this variable x and that's why we're gonna get the error x is undeclared now if you guys want to run this program then uh, what we can do is we can define this macro india so i'm gonna use has defined preprocessor directive and i'm gonna define india and now if i save this program and build and run this you guys can see our program runs and it's gonna print out x equal to 100 and y equal to 200 here what happens is in the preprocessor you know if diff india will yield true that's because we have defined this macro india and that's why this int x will be included in the code which we're gonna pass to the compiler for the compilation process and that's why since we have declared and initialized our variable x you know we will not get any error and you know our program runs smoothly so uh, this is it guys thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that whenever i upload a new video you're gonna get notified and also you guys can like me on facebook at facebook.com slash learning lad and tweet me on twitter at learning lad edu and check out my website learninglad.com for more video tutorials and i'll see you in the next tutorial